Greg's definitely somebody that readers of the magazine look up to. He was an example of somebody who went to the extreme, of somebody who, you know, if you, if you looked at it and said, who would be the freakiest guy you could find, it'd be Greg Valentino. My first feeling was like, what, th this guy must be out of his mind. So I'm like, I'm gonna go interview him for my movie. Chris Bell included Valentino in his 2007 documentary, Bigger, Stronger, Faster. Some people may call Greg Valentino a freak and a felon. I call him a neighbor. He lives down the block from my grandma. He also happens to have the biggest biceps in the world. Holy crap. Do you have difficulty with just sort of the regular things in life, like making a sandwich? No. No, no. I can hit a 90 mile an hour fastball. Anybody want to challenge me? Let's do it. I'll show you. Watch this. Oh! 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 Come on, Greg. Oh! oh. Told you I'm no Barry Bonds. I'm a red meat man. I eat a lot of red meat. Why do you think people in America are so uptight about steroids and steroid users? Because they fear. They fear what they don't know. You no. Know? That's ugly. Who the hell would want to look like that? You know what I mean? I don't want to look like that. Why'd you want to look like that, then? Um, I mean, I like being big. I had small man complex, you know? And I'd be like, I don't want to be little, you know? I yeah. wanted to be taller, so I couldn't grow taller. So, so you grow wider. Personally, like, I think in, in the picture that you showed me, your, oh, arm, I look better. your, your arms look a lot better oh, there than they, than they look now, right? I Without mean, a doubt. Agree? Without a doubt. I would rather look like that. Do you think girls look at me and go, oh my God, that's hot? They're like, <coughs> that's fing gross. I walk into a club, and the hottest girl could be there with a boyfriend. And her boyfriend will, will see me and mush her in the face to get over to me just to say to me, like, dude, what the f***? But you're getting a... attention from the guys, not from the girl. Oh, I don't give a shit. It's an attention. You know what I mean? I can't explain it to you. It's like a, a mindset. Does that make sense or no? But I'll tell you what, when I'm done, my biceps are humongous. Humongous. Like that, bam! For myself, I'm kind of on the fence. I have two brothers. They're both taking steroids right as we speak right now. I don't know if I want people to think I'm, I'm not cheating or to look at me and say, wow, you, you know, like, you really have a great, a great build, mm -hmm. you know, but do you think I should take steroids to get there? I think steroids are as American as apple pie. We live in a society today that you got MTV and reality shows, Madonna's making out with Britney Spears, rap music and all that shit, and you're worried about steroids? Kids are like, f*** you, cop, f*** you, man. Playing video games like Grand Theft Auto where you're killing cops. That's worse influence, in my opinion, than steroids will ever be. That Barry Bonds hitting home runs. It's, there's a big difference between a kid taking steroids, who's only a hair on his dick a couple years, as opposed to a grown man looking to perform better at a better level in sports. And where is Schwarzenegger in all this? I mean, he is the poster boy for steroids. He's the poster boy for, hey, look, look at me. Look what I did. I came, I conquered, I kicked ass. That autobiography says he was doing it when he was 15, 16. Hey, he won the Mr. Universe at 19 years old. 19. Did you ever see what he looked like when he was 19? Do you think it was God-given genetics, or do you think that maybe he took the performance enhancers? A lot of people idolize these guys, whether it's a rock star, bodybuilder, movie star, whoever. And all of a sudden, you get to meet them. And man, is it a letdown. Because they're never, ever what they appear to be. The guy you see in public like this has got the middle finger under the table going like this. It's never what you see is what you get. It's what you see is what they want you to see. Everybody idolized Schwarzenegger growing up. Everybody thought, man, I want to lift weights and live a pure life like Arnold. And I'm going to eat all my vegetables and take my protein shakes. Maybe I'll move out to California, train at Gold's Gym, and I'm going to get really big. I'm going to win contests. I'm going to be a movie star, too. Please welcome a man whose story embodies the American dream. One thing I learned about America is that if you work hard and if you play by the rules, this country is truly open to you. You can achieve anything. Dude. That is, it, 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 that is a pipe dream. That is a pipe dream, okay? 
to get where Arnold got in life, you have to be willing to step on a few fingers and step on a few friends and fuck a few people over. You don't get to that level without that. In this world, you're either the Barracuda or you're that little minnow swimming around like this. And Arnold's the Barracuda. Your shot. My turn. You want to try? I'll miss every one of them. Beautiful. That a boy. Watch, don't step over that yellow line too much. Keep. That's it. Don't want to see that a boy. That was cardio in there for me. I'm Smack a fat. I'm a park. fat bastard. Who's bigger? Who's bigger? Seriously, come on. <laughs> what? He's not come on. Bigger. Come on. Oh my, this house is a filthy mess. You know. Perfect. It's embarrassing. If you want me to get into the whole spiel about steroids, by all means, I certainly will. Now, I love steroids. I'd be jamming them up my ass right now if I could. Is it all right to curse? Yeah. All right, guys. I'm foul. Don't mind me. People always talk about me like, uh, you know, bags of oil and shit. You could want to feel my arms. Go ahead. Smack him, punch him, hit him. You'll see the news guy showing all the stuff I got busted with and him talking about it and everything. They made such an example of me. They had me in a drug program for a year. I used to sit with crackheads. And we'd all be sitting in a circle, and people would be like, you know what, I, I, you know, last week I, I broke down and I had to do it again. You know, heroin addicts. And they're sitting with me going, well, you know, now it's your turn to talk. What's it like when you get high? I said, I don't know, I've never been high. And they're like, oh, come on, you know. Well, this is me all happily juiced up, you know. Look at the cannons. You know what, i got to be honest with you. When you're real big like that, you breathe like Alfred Hitchcock. You're in the movies, and your girlfriend's looking at you going like, shut up. And I'm like, I didn't say a fucking word, but I'm sitting here. <laughs> You know, look at the hole in that. That's from an that right there. See that hole? You can mm -hmm. see it right there. Yeah. That had nothing to do with steroids, though. I get hit with a baseball bat. You're, you're like kind of um, in a in a way like in your in your head, fucked up. You know what it is? I had such attention. Greg, what is this right here? Oh, this is just some of the letters. Look at all these letters and stuff I get. These are just oh my god from my column. Greg, hi buddy. I love your honesty. And you're caring about people that you have never even met. I went to jail for two months last year. And when I got out, I swore to my wife and two children, Daddy would never go back to that shit again. That's how I ended up driving a cab. I'm six foot, 245 pounds. If I could have one wish for the rest of my life, it would be to meet you man to man and have one workout together. So long, buddy. P.S. I feel like I've known you forever without ever even meeting you. Bye, brother. Richie Adams. From Maryland. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Oh, uh, can you... Uh, how... Uh, what do you expect? I mean, I feel unbelievable. Read this. This guy wrote a fucked up letter. I get shit like that all the time. I don't feel like I need to be a role model to the public at all, okay? I feel what I've done is my own personal choice. You could sit here and watch this and think that I'm the biggest jerk off or fluke or freak or whatever you want to call me, you know? I may not look appealing to you or anybody else but that that's it doesn't matter to me this is supposed to be the land of the free right you're supposed to be able to have free reign to do anything that's not going to affect or hurt your neighbor well i mean you know that kind of falls into the category of steroids i'm not affecting my neighbor you know i i, I don't drink i don't smoke there's no drug parties over this house i don't know i'm I, i'm just saying that it, as an american uh you know i feel that you know i should uh, you know my freedoms you know are Freedoms with an asterisk next to it, as long as, you know, the government, you know, deems it to be freedom.